They say money can't buy you happiness. It seems to me that money can buy you the good life and much, much more. The most expensive things in the world have sold for? Well, here are the 10 most expensive priced objects ever purchased. Stick around to see our top pick at number one. Number 10, insurance.com, 35.6 million. It's no secret that there are many premium domain names out there in the world. Whereas most people think they simply type in a domain name into the internet and they're taken to their favorite website, the truth is that at some point someone leased that space and created content for the site. In fact, some people pay millions of dollars to buy ownership of a domain name, depending on how many interested buyers they think the site is connected to. Two of the most expensive domain names ever sold are vacationrentals.com in 2007 for $35 million and insurance.com in 2010 for $35.6 million. What's interesting about these incredibly high-priced domains is that both were trying to keep the domain away from competitors. Plus, Quinn Street, the owners of insurance.com, also own highly demanded and highly costing domains insure.com and internet.com. Surely with the cost of life, home, health and motorcycle insurance, this domain was well worth the money. Number 9. The Louisiana Purchase $15 million. Although this wasn't purchased by simply one person and instead by the United States, the Louisiana Purchase was no doubt a significant and costly purchase. To receive the territory, which includes parts of the Midwest, South, and even a bit of the Western United States, the US paid the equivalent of $245 million to France in 1803. It turned out to be a great deal for the land, which is estimated to be worth trillions of dollars currently. One shocking fact about the Louisiana Purchase is that it almost didn't happen. Back then, Thomas Jefferson was president. When Napoleon came over to try and sell parts of North America to the United States, there was a lot of opposition, especially by the Federalist Party. The land was contested by Spain. So many people feared that it would start a war with the Spanish. The House of Representatives even voted to block the purchase, but it failed by two votes, and therefore the US acquired the property. Luckily, Spain turned the territory over to France a month before it was turned over to the United States and Jefferson was able to convince enough people that in an agreement between two nations using a treaty to acquire land was within the rights granted in the Constitution and therefore fair game. In the end, all the negotiations ended up putting together one of the greatest land sales of all time. Number 8. Leonardo da Vinci's Codex Hammer, 30.8 million. The Codex Hammer, also known more commonly as the Codex Lester, is a scientific book written by Leonardo da Vinci that was published in 1510. It's one of, if not the most famous, of the 30 scientific journals that Leonardo published. It is also the second most expensive book ever sold, since book collector and all-round wealthy guy Bill Gates purchased it at an auction on November 11th, 1994 for $30.8 million. Unlike most books that have a linear structure, the Codex is almost more of a collection of notes. Leonardo wrote about astronomy, the properties of nature, and about planetary bodies. He described phenomenon years before they were proven, made observations to improve the world, and illustrated the connection between art and science while discussing the scientific process. Just as people would come to expect from studying Leonardo, it was handwritten in Italian using mirror writing and included both drawings and diagrams. It's by far a very significant work and absolutely worth the cost. To date, it has been unbound with each page mounted in glass panes. Recently, the book had made its way throughout the world to be seen by the public at various art museums. Number 7. Ferrari 250 GTO Speaking of Ferrari vehicles, coming in expensively priced object ever purchased is the Ferrari 250. If you're into Gran Turismo vehicles, then the Ferrari 250 GTO is probably high on your favourites list. It was produced for two years, 1962 to 1964, by Ferrari. Ferrari was supposed to make at least 100 example vehicles to participate in competitions, but somehow that rule was ignored and only 33 vehicles were produced. In addition to there not being too many Ferrari 250 GTOs available, they were also incredibly difficult to get a hold of. You had to have been personally approved by Enzo Ferrari and his Northern American dealer Luigi Cinetti back in 1962, plus have $18,000 to buy the car. But if you held on to it and didn't drive it much, you could have made millions of dollars later in life. 
One GTO selling for 38 million, while another sold for 52 million, making it the most expensive car ever sold. Number six, badminton cabinet, $36 million. To suggest that the badminton cabinet, a $36 million chest, which has broken the record for most expensive piece of furniture sold twice, is just a piece of furniture is like calling a luxury Ferrari vehicle just your standard car. In fact, the badminton cabinet is more like a work of art, and coming in at $36.7 million, it's priced similarly too. In fact, the only things to sell on auction that were more expensive than the badminton cabinet, and a few things a little less expensive, were fine works of art back in 2004. There were some Van Goghs, a lot more Picassos, totaling 19 other traditional paintings in the top 20. But the badminton cabinet, inlaid with semi-precious stones that signified wealth and power, in a sense is like an impressionist piece of art. In fact, according to the co-chairman of Charles Cater, the badminton cabinet transcends the boundaries of furniture. And for a $36 million price tag, I'd have to agree. Number 5. Elizabeth Taylor's Jewelry Collection, $137.2 million. In 2011, there was an auction of Elizabeth Taylor, actress, businesswoman and humanitarian's jewelry collection that was predicted to bring in around $30 million. Instead, however, every item at least doubled its predicted bid, with some special items pulling up to 10 times more than auctioneers valued the jewellery at originally. Some of the most notable pieces of jewellery in this collection included a pearl, diamond and ruby necklace called La Peregrina, which sold for $11.8 million, and gold and white gold eternity bands with diamonds, which sold for $1 million. Overall, these spectacular prices brought in $137.2 million, making this the most expensive jewellery collection ever auctioned. Number 4. The Tao Huayan in Hong Kong, $149 million. If you thought that people where you live like to live large, then think again. The Tao Huayan is the most expensive and one of the grandest houses that you could ever buy. Located in Hong Kong, it's already sold once for $149 million, making it mainland China's most expensive house. And seeing how it's a 32-bedroom, 32-bathroom dream home, 1,663 acres is just one of the many reasons that it can sell for such a high price. So, what are some of the special details of the Tao Hua Yan? Firstly, the traditional Chinese landscaping adds to the grandeur of the property. The mist-covered pond, lakeside swimming pool and hand-laid brickwork are some of the immaculate details. Not to mention, the details of this house are incredible. For example, all 32 rooms are south-facing, a guarantee for optimal sunlight, and there's much more to love, including a wine cellar which offers a lifetime supply of alcohol and a blend of modern and traditional furnishings that anyone would gladly pay $149 to own. Number 3. Chateau Louis the 14th. When it comes to expensive real estate, however, the Chateau Louis the 14th has the Tao Huayan beat. This is the most expensive piece of real estate ever sold. After selling for $301 million to Saudi Arabia's Crown Prince bin Salman. So why would a Crown Prince shell out so much money for this property? Simply because it's literally a modern day castle. Construction began in 2008 and ended in 2011 by French architect Pierre Bortolussi. It's modelled after the Val Le Vigon, a French chateau and surrounded by a moat. Top it all off, there's over 53,000 square feet of living space with marble and gold leaf throughout. It's the type of castle that you could literally get lost in. In fact, between the home theatre, wine cellar, indoor swimming pool and spa, nightclub and lounge area, I wouldn't mind getting lost there myself. Number two. The Salvatore Mundi. The most expensive painting ever auctioned is none other than the Salvatore Mundi by Leonardo da Vinci. Salvatore Mundi means saviour of the world in Latin and depicts Christ in a Renaissance dress and symbolises Jesus being saviour and master of the cosmos. What makes this painting a particularly special da Vinci painting is the fact that it is one of the very few known works by the painter. It also was the only one to be owned by a private owner, which is why it was able to be auctioned off by Christie's in New York. 
Just a little while back in November 2017, the Abu Dhabi Department of Culture and Tourism won the auction for the painting by bidding $450.3 million so that it could be displayed at the Louvre Abu Dhabi. Now that's a painting one should see in their life right up there with the Mona Lisa. Number one, history supreme yacht, $4.8 billion. Could you imagine spending $4.8 billion on anything in your life? It's difficult for me to even picture that much money changing hands, especially when it comes to buying a boat. But that's exactly what an anonymous Malaysian businessman did. But don't call it a boat in front of him, because it is in fact a super yacht. This yacht, called the History Supreme, is covered in 100,000 kilograms of platinum and gold, meteoric stone and even the bones of a T-Rex. Yes, it's incredibly cool, but can you imagine all the maintenance needed on a platinum and gold ship? Talk about a costly investment. So, there are some of the most expensive items ever bought. Pretty crazy, huh? Tell us what your favourite purchase was in the comments below. Also, make sure you like, subscribe and share our videos with your friend.